This caused lots of conversation, this film. I, <laughs> that makes me so happy. Lots of conversation. I was like watching it and then I'm like, did I see what I just saw? <laughs> did what am I breathing right now? Like what is going on? Am I really up? Like what just happened here? I will give you ten million dollars. Drop my husband in the ocean for the sharks. <laughs> Anne Hathaway and Matthew McConaughey are back together on screen in the sexy new thriller, Serenity. This one is a conversation piece. Like, you gotta talk about it afterwards. Did you guys know immediately when do, you were doing Interstellar, like, I gotta get back with her, I gotta get back with him and work together immediately? I knew I enjoyed working with Anne yeah. right away and would, and would welcome the opportunity to do it again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when she came on board with this, it was like, perfect. Done. Yes. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy working with her. Yeah. Same for you. I wanted to work with Matthew again. I knew that very consciously, and I think I manifested it. Ah, I believe that. You speak it out there. That's half the battle. You keep saying it, and it's, it's definitely going to happen. I felt very lucky when I met Matthew on Interstellar because he was, it's, it's very unusual. You, you can admire actors from afar, mm -hmm. and I had, and to meet someone up close and realize he's living his life, he's found the balance that I am striving for. So I just knew that I wanted Matthew in my life in some kind of influential way. Yeah. And I hoped that I'd be able to continue to work with him to get to learn as an actor. Anne also learned a lot on stage at the Oscars. She co-hosted the show back in 2011 with James Franco. What's the toughest part, though, about hosting the Oscars? The most challenging thing? The next day. <laughs> <laughs> Finding out how you actually did. <laughs> Because it feels nice. Everybody tells you it's going well. And so while you're doing it, everyone's while you're doing it, it's like doing wonderful. it. It's you're just doing. I anything, remember being backstage you know? at that time and seeing you, and yeah, it seemed like it was to me. You know what? What's, would, I, yeah, I'm very. And, I, my approach to all this stuff is really simple. We're lucky. I was gonna the say the stuff is you know this whether or not it 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 does well or it bombs this is the stuff of dreams this is not Thank something you. to get upset about this is not something to now that being said when it really bombs it does sting a little bit but the way I, listen I, I am one of those people that I look at the the win is you did it they asked you to do it and you did it that's the win I think it might wind up being a net positive mm -hmm. over life but um but no, yeah, easily a net positive over sure. Well, the lesson, the lessons that I learned, the life lessons about who to trust and how to trust them, that's right. going to wind up being a net positive. What do you think about all this hoopla that's been made about trying to lock down a host? And have you been reached out to like be one of the pseudo like presenters or, or anything for this year? I have no idea, but I have a feeling if they did reach out, nobody would tell me, no, stay away. Um, Look, I think it's a longer conversation. That being said, I do just want to go on record as saying I think the LGBTQ community needs all the allies in the world. 100%. And deserves all the allies in the world.